Brooklyn Independent Television. The show we did in 2008 was a very rough sketch of what the show might eventually be. We wanted to do it as a, as a culmination of the five-week research period that we did and have the opportunity to present something to the community. Oh, um, like one word that describes Brooklyn. What the civilians uh, does is we create original theater and everything we do comes out of an investigation into real life. So we pick a subject and we actually go out interview people, do research, um, have some sort of interaction with the, the real world, and then take that and create a new work of theater. The story of Atlantic Yards is about the, you know, the fight to um, prevent it. It woke up a lot of people to what the current relationship was between power and ordinary people. It's going to be like, you're going to talk a little bit, you're going to talk while they're dancing, you're going to talk a little bit more, then it's going to turn into a song, and then you'll probably finish it. The 2008 show, you know, we wrote it in five days. The actors rehearsed it in about five days. It was effective in that we, you know, were able to put some ideas out there and, and have the kind of dialogue that we were looking for. Uh, but this show is really a much more finished piece. If you haven't got two billion the Atlantic Yard story involves so many interesting sides and, and players because you have the, you know, the local community of the people who live in the footprint, you have the people who support the project because of the various community benefits that have been promised. You have the private developer, you have the politicians. I thought it had the potential to make good theater, but it's also a important subject that, you know, that ultimately I think should be meaningful for the, the whole country to look at. This is not an either war. It's not a situation where you work or you don't work. I want something there. I just don't want all of that there. When I tell them this has nothing to do with Jay-Z, when I explain all of that to them, then they see. In the last year and a half or so, we've sort of kept up, kept in touch with um, various participants mm -hmm. and and people who are in the show mm -hmm. uh, about what's been going on. We re-interviewed a few people, and Steve and Michael have been working on different songs and different ways of putting the show together. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Ratner. The newest songs that appear the most are called blog songs or blogo songs. We do song versions of these informative kind of blog posts. First of all, there's Manhattan. And Manhattan runs from Greenpoint down to Red Hook. Higher in density, it tends to be more affluent. And property values and development trends are treated as an overflow from Manhattan. Then you've got the Caribbean, parts of Crown Heights, Prospect Heights, Flatbush, even Canarsie, where they've had a huge influx. The, the bloggers are, are, have been a, uh, a big help to us. I think I've internalized them as people more because I've just seen that much more of them over the years. Mm -hmm. They keep in touch with me, we email sometimes, and um, I've gotten even more of a chance in that sense to observe them as an actor and a person and have conversations with them and that's been really fun and really rewarding for me. Serious disregard for the impact that this project would have on adjacent communities. I'm a Brooklynite, born and raised here, born in Brooklyn Jewish Hospital.
Why don't you guys just flip sides? So go over there. I think the Irondale Center being here was a, you know, a real motivating factor in us to, to do the show. Um, since there, there is this resource that's in the community now that's a, you know, a really a wonderful space and a space with a lot of, a lot of character and just a couple blocks from Atlantic Yards. So having the opportunity to do the show here kind of made the decision final for us that we have to figure out a way to, to get it done. But it'll just be like up, up to talk, puppet, puppet looks. People refer to it in the footprint since it's the best way to describe the neighborhood that is, that is now gone because um, it was in the, in the footprint of, of this project. And it, you know, it has a nice kind of metaphorical level to it as well where that neighborhood was under the foot of big money and the politicians who supported them and you know, got kind of stepped on. I think even if you think you know what you know about Atlantic Yards, you should come and see the show because I think there are a lot of things in it that are extremely surprising and interesting and moving in ways that are unexpected. You're only entitled to the space that you have. You're not entitled to the space that's all about you. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.